Hi guys, how you doing? And welcome back. So here we have, um, basically on Facebook, I've been putting up my dreadnoughts. Now you've seen this, sorry, Contemptor. You've seen this Contemptor before. I've been working on it. Lots been, lots has been happening to it. Still got more to do to it as well. Um, but somebody asked me if I could show one of my other work in progresses uh, as I posted this up on my fa uh, Facebook page as well. And I said, yeah, sure. When I get my uh, camera up and running again, I'll do a quick video on these. So, I was going to be entering this into games day. I'm hesitant to do so now because there was a guy that was going to cut me out a massive, great big uh, um, board. Um, it never came around to being done. My fault, I didn't really chase him up as much and probably he was busy with college and stuff like that. So, um, I'm probably not going to be entering now. I know I said I would, but I'm probably not going to be entering. But hey, I get to see everybody else's entries and there's a lot of people out there that are fantastic so i will just be excited to have a look anyway now what i've got are these two guys now like i said still working on them i'm going to be buying one more to fit in my talon so i have three of them in my talon um in fact i've got my one which is in my talon there he is just there now they're beaten and battered all i've got to do is put the arms on this one and uh he'll be ready to go and I've got an arm to put on this one but I'm missing this section just here so I've got to throw in a forge rod and get that sent over but they will do that because they're fantastic anyway so here we are these are my contemptors now I love this battered uh, look now we're doing the siege of terror in October and I kind of think these are going to be fitting for it now a lot of my army's dirty damaged uh, they've been in a fight for a long, long time, and I wanted to play around with that look for my entire army. That's the one I'm looking for. I'm not going for pristine colours, well painted. Uh, there's only going to be one unit that, that's well painted, and that's because it's the more advanced armour, and uh, and it's the idea behind that is it's just come down from Mars, and they've just been fitted into it. Um, but these guys are going to be the ones that are going to be defending the walls, that have been fighting, holding the gaps and stuff like that. And what better um, traitor to be holding in his arm, in his hand, sorry, is a world eater. And there we have it. So let's take a look at this guy first. So this is the one that they wanted to have a look at. Um, now, I've been playing around with using cork bases. I really feel a narrative piece is much more exciting to look than just a standard I'm just standing there pose. Something's happening within this pose that makes you go, what, what's the story here? Um, now, obviously with the Contemptors, you get to do that because there's so many different ways you can have these standing and there's so many ways you can pose them. So with this, I went for a Marine being slammed into the ground uh, like that. So he was standing, he's obviously jumped down, grabbed him and gone boom into the ground like that. And uh, you can see obviously him being crushed and the claws pinning him down. It's an awkward turn on the hand, which is quite nice. Um, and this one is going to be raised. And I don't know if I've got it here. I should do because I tend to have quite a lot of bits and pieces. Um, now, I'm either going to have the assault cannon, which I think is quite fitting, like that. So it looks like he's firing off a load of shots. Plus, that will fit in with all the shells left laying on the floor, which I think is kind of exciting. And that looked quite cool. That will look quite cool. So he's got his assault cannon there. It's like, blah, 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 blah. If you want to feel free to put your own special effects noises in there, that's really cool. Um, or I'm going to have him with a, a hand and pointing. I don't know. I don't know yet. It's one of those things. Um, again, I've done, if we just turn this around, I've gone for a sort of like almost kneeling pose which is quite nice. Now he's heavily battle damaged, bullet holes in there, bolt shells, um, and he's got like wiring hanging out there. We've also, we swing it around here. It's pretty cool. Now I've gone for a flamer, so he's got a flame weapon, which is nice. I kind of like the flame weapons. I prefer them to the storm bolts, that all the combi bolts that are in there. Um, the flame weapons are much nicer. Good for close combat as well. Um, but yeah, so there he is. And this guy, we'll have a quick look at this guy. Like I said, still work in progress, so please be kind. Um, if we look here, if we go a little bit closer, if it focuses in, there is a face in there, uh, which I kind of like. So it's almost as though a chain blade's cut all the way through here, or an axe is cut all the way through here. 
and ripped out all the innards. Um, now I was going to have him standing on another marine but I'm actually running out of marines and I need them for bits and pieces. And now if you remember I got a whole load of uh, a gift, a whole load of photo um, gifts just before Christmas from a fantastic guy, um, one of my subscribers. And so I'm using these to the best of my abilities and obviously when the campaign's finished I'm going to send him this as a thank you um, because I just think there's just so much in this that I love so much uh, and I spent quite a lot of time on it. Um, still got the ground to do, the bullets to do, the shell, sorry, we've got him to finish off as well. Um, there's little bits and pieces that need doing around here and around there. Um, that's lovely. The wiring just needs sort of like sooting up a bit, bit of soot around there. I always drill these out if I can. Uh, and also the holes there because it just gives them a nice little look sort of thing as the light shines through them. Um, but all in all, it's come out really nicely. The chipping effect is done by a sponge. Um, I went over my original chipping and just added a little bit more to it, which is, is quite nice. I've still got the purity seals to finish off and make them stand out. But all in all, it's good. Now, once this is all painted, I'm going to add in AK Interactive's oil effects just around certain bits and pieces just to give like the staining and stuff that I'm after um, but all in all I'm a very happy bunny and I'll be doing the same to this one and I'll be doing the same to this one as well um, yet to decide what kind of weapons because we can't use uh, the missile launchers to go on the top I'm gonna give them something else um, it'd be kind of nice to have power fist with each one of these uh, and maybe an assault cannon, all three of them with assault cannons. You, what do you guys think? You know, let me know. Anyway, guys, listen, you take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you later.